Hello students, I am back with another video. And for today's lesson, I'm going to discuss about digestion lesson two, emphasis for science eight, week two, I guess. Okay, so we are going to discuss digestive system. Specifically, we are going to talk about the process of digestion and the different parts of the digestive system. Okay, let's start. Let us start our lesson with a short game which is titled guess who i am so i would like you to identify the labeled parts of the digestive system and we are going to check if you have an idea of the different parts of the digestive system well it's okay if you will have mistakes well don't worry because i understand okay so can you take a look at the different numbers and can you identify the part which is being labeled? You can just pause this video. I think you're done. Now let's check your answer. Okay, so we have here the different parts that make up the digestive system. First, we have here the liver. Next is the pancreas. Next is the small intestine, followed by the large intestine spleen and the stomach okay we are going to discuss the function of each as we go along with our discussion okay now bakit ba kailangan natin kumain well one of the life processes of every living organism is nutrition yes we need to eat food because food fuels the body for the needed energy and to maintain its basic life processes now it is important for us to eat food because it serves as our gasolina to perform our activities every day. Diba? If you don't eat breakfast in the morning, diba? Parang nahihina tayo. so that's why we need to eat food. Now the question is, what will happen to the food once we put it in our mouth? Okay? Now, what is the digestive system? Meron tayong different body systems. Meron tayong nervous system, respiratory system, circulatory system, lymphatic system, etc. But each body system has different functions. So for this a lesson, we are going to focus on the digestive system. Now, the digestive system is the series of tube-like organs that convert our meals into nutrients and energy. Now, that is the main function of our digestive system, to convert our foods na kinakain natin into nutrients and energy that we eat to survive and to perform our daily tasks. The food is broken down, sorted, and reprocessed before being circulated around the body to provide it with energy, vitamins, and minerals. So, kailang i-convert the digestive system ang food na kinain natin para maging nutrients siya and makonvert siya sa energy before ito i-circulate sa different parts ng body natin. So, that is the main function of our digestive system. Okay, now digestive system is divided into two. We have alimentary canal or alimentary tract, and we also have accessory organs. Now, let's talk about first the alimentary canal or alimentary tract. Now, it is also called as gastrointestinal tract. It is a one long continuous tube that starts from the mouth and the end at, and end at the anus. Now, diba, familiar tayo sa canal, diba? When we say canal, um, ang itsura niya is diretso, continuous. Now, this is the same with the alimentary canal or alimentary tract or gastrointestinal tract. Now, it is a canal, it is a tube na diretso siya, and it is only one path. Okay? Now, this tube starts with our mouth and it will end with our anus. So, lahat ng organs na dinadaanan ni alimentary, ng ating food ay tinatawag na alimentary canal or tract. Okay? Now, meron tayong iba't ibang organs na dinadaanan ng food and yung mga organs na dinadaanan na yun, ng one continuous tube is kasama sa alimentary tract ng ating digestive system. Okay? Now, the opposite of our alimentary canal or tract is the, are the accessory organs. Now, it makes up the rest of the digestive system which are not part of the alimentary tract but still plays an important role in the system. Okay? Now, when we talk about accessories, for example, necklace, um, earrings, diba? accessories are like more like of display siya. Now, ganun yung accessory organs natin. Hindi siya directly nadadadaanan ng food natin, but they're still 
plays an important role with our digestion. Okay, so that is why they are called accessory organs. So, hindi siya part ng alimentary tract, but they still play a big role with the digestion. Okay, I hope everything is clear. Okay, now let's proceed to the first organ of our alimentary tract. So, sunod-sunod to ha, kung ano yung unang daanan ng food natin, kung ano yung first stop na ating food, yun ang pagkakasunod-sunod. Okay, so again, the very first organ na nadadaanan ng ating food ay ang ating mouth. It is the opening of our alimentary canal. Now, as you chew, you are breaking down the food into smaller pieces as means of mechanical breakdown. The pieces mix with saliva, which is a watery liquid made by the salivary glands. The food is chewed and lubricated until it forms a bowl-shaped mass called bolus. Now, ang function ng ating mouth is to break down the food that we eat into smaller pieces. Now, the organs that help our mouth to do this mechanical breakdown into smaller pieces, the teeth and the tongue. Okay, now, ang ating saliva ay tumutulong din because it contains enzymes, enzyme which is called the saliv salivary amylase, na nakakatulong din siya para ma-break down into smaller pieces ang, ang food na kinain natin. So, sa mouth pa lang, nagsisimula na ang tinatawag natin na digestion. Okay, now, kapag ninuyan natin ang ating food and it will be mixed with saliva, it will form a mass called bolus. Okay. Again, the mass formed by the chewing of our teeth, tongue, and mixed with saliva is called bolus. Okay, now that is why it's very important for us to chew our food well. Because kapag ginuyan natin ng mabuti ang ating food, mas madali ang pag ng ating food. So, you should really chew your food well. Okay? Now, the next stop of our food is the pharynx or the throat. Okay, now yung bolus, kapag nilunok natin, if we swallow the food or the bolus, dadaan siya sa pharynx or throat. It's located at the back of the mouth and is the common passageway for digestion and respiration. Now, isa lang ang dinadaanan ng hangin at ng pagkain na kinain natin. So, that is why it is important for us to not talk while eating. Diba sabi nga, don't talk when your mouth is full. Because may possibility na mabulunan talaga tayo. Okay? So, we should not talk when we are eating. Ang next stop, kapag nakaraan na siya sa ating pharynx, dadaan naman siya sa long tube na tinatawag natin esophagus. It moves food from the throat to the stomach using muscle movement called peristalsis. Now, kahit na nakabalik tayo yung tao, hindi niya masusuka kaagad yung kinain niya because yung esophagus natin, meron siyang wave-like contraction na tinatawag na peristalsis. Now, yung direction niya is always downward. So, that's why hindi basta-basta tayo na masusuka kahit na uh, magtabling tayo or kahit na nakabalik tayo yung tao because of the movement called peristalsis. Now, kapag naman siya sa esophagus, sunod naman na dadaanan niya ay yung stomach. It is located between the esophagus and small intestine. As you can see, it is a J-shaped muscular bag that breaks down food into tiny pieces that mixes it with digestive juices that contain enzymes to break down proteins. The food is converted into chyme, a semi-fluid partially digested food. Acid in the stomach kills bacteria. Bolus na nilunok natin, uh, magmimix siya with different digestive juices that will help uh, to break down proteins. These digestive juices contain enzymes na nagpapadali sa digestion and pag-breakdown ng food natin into the different substances na kailangan ng, ng body natin. Now, we have acid sa ating stomach. So, actually, the acid that is inside our stomach can melt a metal. Pero don't worry because the lining of our stomach, kayang-kaya naman yung acid na nasa loob, na, nasa loob niya. So, okay lang. Okay, so that is the function of our stomach. Now, for the small intestine, it is the organ considered of complete absorption and digestion. It has walls that contain many folds that are lined up with tiny finger-like protrusions called villi. The, the absorbed nutrients were taken into the bloodstream. Okay, now, the nutrients will be absorbed by the small intestine. Yung small intestine natin, 
meron siyang small finger-like protrusions. Diyan papasok yung nutrients na kailangan ng ating body mula sa food na kinain natin. These finger-like protrusions are called villi. Now, it is connected with our um, capillaries. Na connected naman siya sa ating blood vessels. And it will be delivered into the different parts of our body, sa different cells ng ating body. Now, I guess small intestine is the most like it's the most important part of our digestive system because your main function ng digestive system natin ay pumapasok sa function ng small intestine din. Again, the absorbed nutrients were taken into the bloodstream. So, diyan papasok yung process na tinatawag natin absorption and assimilation. Now, ang large intestine naman, oh, going back, small intestine pala, I mean, the longest organ of our body. Okay? So, medyo maliit lang yung circumference niya compared to the large intestine. But if we are going to stretch it, it would be the longest organ of our body. Okay. Now, for large intestine, it is also called as colon and is the next organ after the small intestine. Water is absorbed from undigested food and the remaining materials which then become more solid are passed into the rectum where they are temporarily stored and are eventually eliminated through the anus as waste. Now, for the large intestine, kung ano yung substance na natira mula sa food na kina, mula sa digest na food ng ating alimentary tract ay pupunta sa large intestine. Now, sisiguruhin ni large intestine na makuha niya yung water na natitira mula sa food na yun and yung mga nutrients pa na pwedeng makuha mula sa food na dinigest ng ating digestive system. Yun ang function ni large intestine. Okay? Now, kung ano yung matitira, the remaining materials which become more solid yun yung tinatawag natin na feces, it will pass into the rectum kung saan i-store natin yung waste and it will be eliminated through the anus, which is the exit point of our elementary chat or canal. Okay? And anus is the opening to the external environment. Okay, now... Next are the accessory organs. So these are exocrine glands that secrete, it's not secret, it secrete chemical substances and facilitate digestive process. Okay, again, yung mga minention natin kanina, yung mga dinaanan ng ating uh, food, ayun ay mga organs under alimentary tract or canal. Now, itong mga accessory organs, they help with uh, digestive, with the process of digestion. First, na mention na natin to kanina, the salivary glands. These are located in the mouth and secrete saliva that contains salivary amylase. About one liter of saliva is secreted every day. Okay, now the yellowish part, just the picture, yan yung tinatawag natin na salivary glands. So they produce saliva which helps in the uh, digestion na naisisimula pa lang sa ating mouth. Okay, now kapag makaamoy pa lang tayo ng food na nakakagutom, but if it is appetizing, nagsisimula nang magsikrit ang ating um, salivary glands ng saliva. Yan yung parang sinasabi natin, oh, naglalaway ka na. Ganon. Kasi that is the reaction of our salivary glands. I mean, that's the response of our salivary glands. Piniprepare niya yung ating mouth para sa digestion sana. Next is the liver. It is the largest organ in the body. Okay, it is the largest organ, internal organ. Okay, when we talk about external organ, that would be our skin. Okay, so liver is the largest internal organ in the body. It is located at the right side of upper abdomen. It produces bile, which digests fats and neutralizes the acidity of chyme. Okay, yung chyme, di ba, yun yung nabuo na substance sa ating stomach para mag-neutralize yung acidity because of the acid nga present, na present sa ating stomach. Um, yun naman yung function ni liver. Okay, yun yung function niya. Yun naman yung function ni bile na pinuduce ng ating liver. Okay, and another, it also digests fats, which is also important sa ating body. Next is the gallbladder. It is a balloon-like structure that stores the bile until the body needs. Yan yung color green sa picture. So, yung nasa taas niya is the liver. So, kapag nag-produce si liver ng bile, ini-store naman ito sa gallbladder natin. And, i-release naman ni gallbladder yung bile kapag kailangan na siya na ating body. 
Next is the pancreas. It is a large elongated gland located at the back of the stomach. It produces pancreatic juices which help break down carbohydrates, proteins, and fats in the small intestine. Okay? Now, yung pancreas naman, yung pinuproduce niya is the our pancreatic juices. Yung liver, pinuproduce niya is bile. Now, very important yung mga juices na to because i, ito yung kailangan natin para i-break down yung kailangan natin na substances sa ating body, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Okay? So, that's the main function of pancreas. So, those are the different accessory organs of the digestive system. So, these are the different organs that make up our digestive system. And I hope the function of which is very clear. Now, that's all for our lesson for this F. Now, I hope everything is clear. And if you have questions, you can just comment it down below. And I will really appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel and if you will like my video. Thank you. Have a good day and God bless us all.